second and it immediately started. So this is gonna be a five player game, no bots. All right, Fitz once again spawns with the flag territory. But uh, doesn't start with it with as much force as he had last time around. And uh, Silent gets to go first. Looks like he's going to go for a quick, I believe that's a plus five that he's going to grab here on turn one. Very nice plus five for Silent. That's a four or a five. We'll look at the bonuses here in a moment once everyone's taking their first turn. All right, fits you Hayashi in the second seat. He's going for the top left bonus there. I believe that's a plus three. That is a plus four. All right, we do see the, the alliances going out. Bart has allied himself with the entire board, and I'm pretty sure everyone else has as well. When you're playing Fix 70, you do want to have as many alliances as you can. Bart has a nice little pocket there on his plus three of Southtown. The Blizzards will be doing a great job to help uh, Bart hold that, but the uh, unstable portal, at least for this round, could result in him getting broken. And he goes ahead and takes the Rich Housing plus three. Puts him on a total of plus six for turn one. So far the best turn one we've seen. Roberto is in the fourth seat. He waves the Serbian flag, so I know he's not uh, Mexican or anything, but whenever I see, uh, you know, Roberto like that, I have, I have a cousin over in Spain whose name is Roberto, so I'll, I'll, uh, <laughs> I hit him with the same thing, so, anyway, uh, Roberto takes the Scholars plus three, uh, and then last but not least, we got Samson Sharp in the fifth and final seat, looks like, uh, Samson is gonna go for the plus two, does he also attempt to grab the horse this turn? He is. He grabs the horse, loses one, and can fortify as many as two troops onto it. Looks like he's going to fortify off so as to hang on to his troops. But he's got a Decent capture the flag stack next to the flag territory. That brings us back to silence, so we'll go over all of the bonuses for this map. We have, and I'm going to turn off the scoreboard for a second so we can see uh, the whole map here. We have a couple of plus twos. We got Temple. We got Saiyan Gate. Uh, Temple currently occupied by Samson. Then we have... A couple of plus threes. You got Southtown, occupied by Bart, and Rich Housing, also occupied by Bart. Uh, then you have Scholars, occupied by Roberto. Then you got three plus fours. You got Step Housing, unclaimed. The plus four in West Town, also unclaimed. And the plus four in North Town, occupied by Fitz. Uh, then you got three plus fives. You got Lower Town, which is currently unoccupied. Plus five, occupied by Silent. And Silent did get his plus five bonus there. And then you got the plus five of Troja, or Troja, I don't know. Um, then over in City Market is your plus six. And then where the flag territory is, that is Upper Town. That's your plus eight. Bring the score back up, get rid of our bonuses here. So Silent went ahead and took the plus two over up at the gate there to put him on plus seven. Fitz, not able to get a second bonus on his turn. Um, Bart doesn't exactly have lines for a third bonus. Um, and just to remind everybody, uh, the other win condition here is this is a 70% game with blizzards on. 
So the players need 43 territories. It's all but 24. Uh, but the capture the flag win condition arguably may be easier. Or it might not be easier. It depends on your perspective. Um, but what is not up for debate is the capture the flag objective. If the game is won in that way, uh, players will get an a, a additional three points if they uh, if they hold the flag territory for stru for two straight turns and fulfill the alternate win condition of capture the flag. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that off of there. So players have a few options in front of them for how they want to win. Roberto grabs the plus four right next to him, puts him on plus seven. And then Samson, only on a plus two, looking like he's in a bit of rough shape here. Um, it also looks like he's held the flag territory for at least one turn. He took it last turn and didn't guard it. Still has one troop on the flag territory. Unless I'm missing something, he only has to hold it for one more turn uh, to win the game. Uh, but aside from that, it doesn't look like he's in a very good spot for a second bonus. Bart added into the plus six that he was probably thinking about going for. Had Bart not added there, he probably would see a Samson take of the uh, city market plus six. He decides to break one of Bart's two bonuses, perhaps in protest. So Roberto trying to figure out that move. And <laughs> Roberto telling Bart to attack white. Bart seemingly is chuckling at that because uh, I, I think he's already on board with attacking white on his next turn. So Silent is uh, sitting in a solid position here on plus seven and ahead of Roberto, who's also on plus seven. Meanwhile, Fitz is going to use the opportunity to grab another bonus for himself. So this is Fitz's second bonus. He's going to grab the plus four on West Town, putting him on plus eight. All right, so... Bart is almost certainly going to retake here. Uh, but the question is, does he also decide to break Samson? Quarantine says, if I'm Bart, I send everything into white. It appears Bart is a smidge more forgiving than you are, Quarantine. He decides to just retake. But he is... Uh, Gifted with a set on three, a 10 set on three. Um, and uh, unless I'm missing something in the rules, if Roberto doesn't take the horse territory this turn, Samson will have held it for two turns without even kind of trying to. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something in the rules. Yeah, Roberto does take it off of him. And uh, Samson waves his sword. How dare you not let me win on turn three. Uh, but uh, Samson has a lot of material next to that horse territory. Uh, and doesn't exactly seem to have any prospects on a second bonus. So it's entirely... Uh, possible that his whole game hinges on an early win. Uh, Samson didn't have it turn one. He took it off 
he Fitz spawned with it, and then Samson took it on Samson's turn one. So yes. And then what we just saw uh, Roberto do was the first time since spawn that the capture the flag position was traded. Or since after spawn, since turn one. Yeah, that would have been the win. Okay, good. I'm glad I understand the rules correctly, and it, and it looks like Roberto does too. It, had he taken his card anywhere else, it would have been GG for Samson. Um, so yeah, Samson, looking in rough shape. No prospects for a second bonus, and his one bonus is only a plus two. So I think Samson's play here is to hope for a set on three and put all of his material on the flag position, but I don't think that's going to well, go well for him, particularly with Bart now putting plus six and his plus ten on the board. Total of 19 troops coming in for yellow. Does uh, does Bart return the favor from Samson's break, or does Bart Bart uh, make a play for the flag territory here? Probably unlikely to hold it. Silent waiting the wings with a fifteen stack, and is on four cards as well. Bart thinking about killing Samson, maybe. Okay, doesn't want the Samson kill. Roberto copying Fitz, making his internal territories twos instead of ones to inhibit any potential future runs for the 70%. And he goes ahead and steps off the flag territory. He uh, he knows he can't hold it, so he figures, why waste the troops? Samson could be in trouble here if he takes a fourth card without setting, which normally you don't hear folks say that in Fixed, but... Uh, Samson is in a bad way here, only being on the plus two. I think if you're Samson, you're playing for a sneaky uh, flag win condition. But uh, with a lobby like this, it's going to be very hard to uh, sneak that W in. So he does make the play for the horse, fortifies onto it. The two-turn timer starts now. Silent sets in for six. Has the horsey trade on four. And uh, immediately removes Samson from the horse position. And potentially from the board... Looks like uh, Silent is going to go for the Samson kill. Samson's on four here. Yep, it looks like he's got it. 6v2. GG to Samson Sharp. And well played to Silent Legend taking the first kill this game. That kill does indeed set him in turn. Gives him the 10 trade. And puts him on a plus five up in Troja. And a plus two, originally owned by Samson. So if Bart or if Silent is able to hold all of this, he'll be on plus fourteen from bonuses alone. He used a lot of material taking Samson out. Only on fifty nine troops, but that is still the troop lead position. Uh, Fitz. Seemingly concerned about Silent's growth, and also seeing Green himself decides to move in and break two of Silent's bonuses, almost stealing one of them. But uh, Fitz has yet to set in. He's been collecting eight a turn. 
Fitz will take the troop lead when he sets in next, assuming Silent doesn't set on three. Uh, Bart is on 66 troops. Bart is thinking about what he wants to do. Silent spent a lot of his, uh, I guess you would say, troop capital on eliminating Samson. So can Bart make a play for the flag position? Probably not. It does look like Fitzy has an 18 weight in the wings. And I'm sure that Roberto would also have something to say about Bart going for the flag territory. Uh, but Bart does have a few 10 plus stacks scattered here and there for a potential 70% uh, run in the future. Roberto, meanwhile, sets on 10. Or sets on 4 with a 10 trade. Looks like he's going to guard against Silent a little bit here. Is he thinking about greeting out for a third bonus? I think that's unlikely. He does take the flag position from Silent and breaks a plus two of Silence. So Silent is going to start his turn only on plus five. He sets on 3 for 10, puts him on 69 troops. We see the dab come out from Bart and from Roberto. So does Silent break Roberto? We did see the oops come out from Silent when Roberto broke his other plus 2. Yep, we do see the break from Silent. He decides to break one bonus. And not the second one. Breaks And breaks the smaller of the two bonuses. He could have broken Roberto's plus four, but decided to break his plus three. So we'll see if... Uh, see how Roberto responds to that. Fits you, meanwhile. Sets on five for ten... Still on plus eight, owns pretty much the entirety of the northeast, northwest corner of the board. Decently sized 24 stack. Hey Zango, the flag territory is the horse. Is the uh, it's the Trojan horse territory right in the middle of the board. Uh, Roberto took it from Silent last turn. And Silent eliminated uh, Samson Sharp, not last turn, but the previous turn. All right, Bart, thinking about what he wants to do here. Fitz has, uh, has just edged out the troop lead there. So if anyone tries to make a concerted play for the flag territory... Uh, you would expect it to be the um, the troop lead, but Bart is close enough to Fitz w to where Fitz probably is not going to try it just yet. And uh, I think it's fair to say that the players would, the other three players would team on whoever goes for it. You have to hold the flag territory for two turns. If you successfully hold it for two turns, you get an extra three points to your win. All right, Roberto's going to retake here. Does not re-break.
how did you get four points? Uh, maybe from placement. I think I think they may have decided to just give banana two points, and then and then give you four points. But uh, the Destro can answer that. It's already added, yeah. Yeah, you had a rough, uh, rough spawn there, rough go of it, Samson. But uh, had Roberto not taken a card on you uh, on that flag territory, you would have had it. Oh, banana gets zero points, but you get four points for fifth. Okay, thank you, Dedestro. That that makes sense. <laughs> Again, Dedestro in here keeping me straight. Um. All right, Fitz with a big 30 sack on a portal right next to the flag territory. Bart decided to trade his dude trade on three. So uh, we could see a 70% run here from Bart. It looks like he is going for it. Uh, once again, folks, Bart needs 43 territories. It's all but 24 on the Troy map. He still has his 17 waiting in the wings. Softens uh, fits his 14. Still on 55% of the board. 57. 59. Does he have it? It's going to be close. It looks like he might be one territory shy. He manuals. A 1v4 I don't think is going to go very well. And it doesn't look like he has time to finish the 1v4 in any case. So Bart fails his 70% run on 68%. I do believe that that was one territory shy of the win. Needed the 12v10 to win, yep. So unfortunate for Bart there. Just about had it. Uh... Roberto, Fitz, everyone, everyone except for Silence, uh, except for Silence plus two got broken. Uh, so what does Roberto do here? How does the how does the board respond to that attempt from Bart? They may just decide, okay, that was that was your shot. We're gonna we're gonna put you out of the game now, but we shall see. Hey, thanks for getting that uh, ban quarantine. I was about to get it. Uh, Roberto retakes his bonuses, it looks like. And breaks silence plus two. Silent laughs because apparently he can't uh, have nice things. Quarantine says it fits his game if you pass it right. Yep. Fits on four cards and 60 troops with a wide open board. Don't know why he broke silent. Silent can't even run it with a plus two. Yep. So Silent responds by breaking him and retaking his plus five. But yeah, this uh, this board is more open than my uh, drunk aunt is about her marriage at Thanksgiving. So Fitz is going to set in. He's retaking his bonuses. Does he turn? Does he turn these retakes into a run? It looks like he might be. We're, we're seeing some good pathing here from Fitz. And Silence plus two is softer after the breaking going on back and forth here. 
Still has a six he can use to go into Bart's plus three on the southwest corner of the board. We see the GG come out from Roberto. I think he's going to kill Bart for the points. I don't know. I think uh, I think Bart has more territories than uh, than Fitz needs to win now. And then sixty-eight to seventy, GGS to Fitz Uhayashi, taking 